relate prediction errors to providing feedback and learning. If you think back to a previous video, we essentially said that a prediction error is the difference between our outcomes and our expectations. With this in mind, this is an easy way to relate prediction errors to feedback and learning in a sport environment. For instance, imagine that you shoot a basketball. The motor system has an expectation of what's going to happen, and there's an outcome. You hit or you miss. So that difference would be a prediction error, and that difference could be used to increase a value. Now, what value is being increased? Think back to a previous video about choice. When you shoot a basketball, you've used some set of neurons to do that, and some of those connections work and some don't work as well. So, for instance, you might use the prediction error if successful to strengthen these connections, and if unsuccessful, to weaken other connections. Now, we'll go more into that at the neural level as the course progresses, but for now, you can think about it this way. When you give feedback, you are essentially giving someone the outcome, and there's a prediction error. Conversely, they might be able to figure out the outcome themselves. For instance, if you hit a golf ball, the motor system will have an expectation as to what happens, and then there'll be an actual outcome that you may need a coach to tell you, or you can figure out for yourself. And if you think about what happens to values then, they would increase like this based on our discussion of prediction errors, and that's the learning curve that reflects how you learn.